Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 48, and this is war number three, and we're going up against an alliance called, looks like, Avengers. All right. Let's uh, see, who did they ban? Okay, Wiccan, Void, and Kushala. All right, let's uh, take a look and see what they got planned for my path. All right, so automatically we bring in Magneto for that uh, future Ant-Man. Okay, now this is interesting. So we've got Scorpion and we have Atuma. Now, one of the best counters for Atuma is Shuri. So maybe Shuri will be coming in here. And there's Wiccan there. Ooh, and they've got, hmm, who do I have for a counter for uh, him? See, Hulkling, I would normally use, but now Zemo is a defender, I mean, a um, global defense tactic defender. I, ooh, see, anybody... That's usually who I, I try to uh, do over there. All right. Well, if we bring in Magneto and we bring in, hmm, if we bring in Shuri. I remember the default for him is that he is um let's see immune to uh okay immunity to the damage over time he did not select all right shock okay yeah there we go shock and rupture that's what i wanted to see so i wouldn't be bringing Shuri against uh, that Scorpion. Of course, I could bring Scorpion. Or I could just bring in um, Hercules since he's not uh, banned. And I think uh, this week we've got um, Raid. So I won't be using uh, Hercules this week. Now, Hercules won't do well against that Wiccan. Huh. Hercules can do that Atuma, but I would rather bring in somebody that's uh, a better counter. So I know Magneto, and I know um, Shuri may be able to take that Wiccan also. So I would just have to bring in somebody that could take one of these fights and that Zemo. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, I have to look and see who I have that is, um, is that an Ex Magica that might be a good option for that Zemo. But Magneto definitely coming in. And we'll see who else I bring in. Um, I'm thinking Shuri for that Atuma. But I might have someone else. And I might just brute force it in there. Like with Hercules. But alright. Let's get to the fighting. So I'm going in with Magneto. Shuri. And my girl clairvoyant now there is one fight that i'm a little nervous about actually there's two fights the first fight that i'm nervous about is the atuma i've never really fought him with shuri the other fight is that gore normally gore is pretty easy but the node and the defense tactic are going to make it a little more dicey so 
I have a plan. I don't know if it's going to work. So first up, we've got this Scorpion. Now, I know, I know he is going to evade and hit me. So I want to be in her poison mode. That way, I'm not taking a whole lot of poisons, okay? So I'm just going in here. So far, everything is looking nice. I switched to her uh, poison mode. Curse of a uh, plague. And we're doing good. All right. Now he spun that out and I'm blocking it because I was trying to keep the scorpion sense from hitting. But that didn't work. All right. So now I know what's going to happen. So I'm like, all right. There it is. There's the evade. But that's cool. Let's just go on in. Get him with another special two. And the fight's over. So, I understood and I accepted that I was going to get evaded and countered. All good. Now, I could have taken, uh, you know, put on an invulnerability boost as well, but I pretty much figured that I'd be able to handle it. All right, now this fight here. I know that uh, Shiri makes no contact, so I shouldn't be taking any damage back. But I still got to fight a Tuma. And I do know how to fight a Tuma, but, you know, so that parry, I wanted to see if he would still, you know, um, shrug that off. And he did. So now I need to make sure I put some shocks on him. So I wanted to make sure I get, you know, hit. Now, Sherry is not immune to bleed or poison. So I'm taking damage from my poison here. Already took the damage for the bleed. All right. Now, I'm also worried about his hydration. Okay. So uh, I'm just trying to build up, hit him with a heavy to reset my uh, shock charges. All right. His hydration is up. And I'm like, oh, boy. I'm holding my special three for a reason. Okay, here we go. Now he's unstoppable. And I'm in the corner. That's when I fire the special three. Because I'm like, no, 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 no. Unstoppable and got me in the corner? No. All right. So now he's still unstoppable. And all right, now. Now we're good. All right, so we're going in. And it's looking okay now. I don't believe he's hit me at all. But you see my health. All right, there he goes. Now he's unstoppable again. And I have no special. Now what to do? There you go. Relic to the rescue! All right. Now, uh, that was a risky move because sometimes I'll fire the relic and they'll just start attacking. And they'll hit me before I can even recover or do anything. It's it's crazy. But it didn't happen this time, so we got him. Not my best fight. And I could probably have done that a whole lot better. If you guys have any tips, tricks with an encounter like that, let me know in the comments below. But we were able to get it done. All right. Now, here's another one of the straightforward fights. You guys see me do this fight all the time wait till the magnetize hits wait till the armor up goes away and then parry heavy okay so nothing new no tricks now with that atuma fight do let me know because i'm i know i could do that fight better but i'm not quite sure what i need to do you know other than taking off my uh recoil masteries what else uh, should I have been doing? Because obviously he's not shrugging off her um, her shots. So should I have just kept parrying and building up or what? But anyway, we got her done. All right, so now we want to bait this guy out because he be acting crazy sometimes. All right. Hopefully no detonation. All right. Get that up there. And that should be enough. 
I was looking at the detonation. I'm just like, don't detonate and take my power. Sometimes it'll detonate and won't take the power, but sometimes it will. And I probably could have finished this fight off faster, but I do like to use the special three because he does have a mechanic where it's not going to uh, do full damage. If I do like a special two, it won't, it won't do it. Uh, the damage will get capped. Now, this fight here, I kept, I, I was overthinking it. I was like, okay, Claire doesn't get buffs. So this fight should be pretty simple. And I'm trying to think, is Wiccan, does Wiccan have something that I'm not aware of? And I'm like, whatever. Let's go in. Let's check it out. All right. So here we go. And I'm like, okay, I don't see anything uh, crazy. All right. There we go. Okay. Nullify that uh, regen. Maybe that's the uh, the thing that they uh, were relying on to make him difficult on this node. I don't know. Now, I know I don't want to push him to a special um, two. His special one, very easy to evade, as you can see here. But that special two, I sometimes have trouble. And yeah, I see the... Now look at this. How did he parry that? Can y'all tell me that? How did he parry that? Anyway, if they if they really want relics to be, you know, good and relevant and everything, maybe don't let them parry so quickly. You know, if I'm going in there and I fire off my relic and they're parrying my relic. What? All right. Anyway, here we go. Boom. And he is down. So, yeah, there was nothing tricky, nothing crazy about that fight. Now, we come to the fight. Gore. On that node where you get rooted and all that other mess. I was looking over and because Claire is ex magica i was like okay she's gonna be able to do multiple fights including that one i was thinking about also trying that korg but i was like nah i would do the korg if i had uh maybe bishop something like that all right so my plan for this fight is to Try to avoid the root, so stay aggressive, stay close to him. The bubble shield, I'm going to uh, pop an invulnerability boost, so we should be good, okay? So I read the node, I know how to fight gore, let's do it, all right? So, here we go, and my goal is to stay aggressive, stay aggressive, all right? Stay aggressive. Oh, wait. Now I'm not aggressive. Now I'm trying to bait that out. What the heck? Now I'm rooted. Okay. Look at this. My indestructible. And then wham! Look at the <laughs> look at the uh debuffs on me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at those debuffs. Bleed, poison, and shock. She can uh be immune to one of those. I could be bleed or poison, but I can't do nothing but the shock. All right, so I did not play that the way that I had planned, okay? I had the invulnerability boost. I should not have been trying to bait out his special, okay? So I'm sitting here right now, and I remember reading in the chat, somebody brute forced their way through, and they were like, don't do that. That's a call for the officers to make. So I put in a, a message and I said, I just got rocked by that gore. Do you want me to go back in? And so I sat here and I was waiting for a reply and I didn't get a reply after a bit. <clears throat> and I said, my vulnerability boost is going and I believe my plan is a sound one. It's a good plan. And 
I just executed it very badly. I should have basically relied on the invulnerability boost. And you saw the power, uh, the power node where his uh, special two, once he got to a special two, I could go ham and get a lot in, all right? So you see here, I'm like, okay, let's just do this. I wanted to check my boost, you know, make sure I still had uh, my invulnerability on. And I'm just like, yeah, let's let's just do this. You know, I was, I was fairly confident, you know, now that I know the fight. I was like, you know that there's a node, what was it, uh, no retreat? That's how I needed to fight this. I needed to fight this with no retreating. Okay, you see I have a little bit left on the invulnerability. So I'm like, whew, took a deep breath and said, let's do this the way I should have the first time. All right, so now watch the difference. Parry, going in. All right, parry, going in. No backing up, no backing up. Parry, going in again. No backing up. No, we ain't trying to um, bait out nothing. Here we go. Bam. Just keep going in. Rip that up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Parry. Keep going in. I don't care if you get a special three. Who cares about your special three? I got my special three. Do that light touch. Boop. And I could have sworn that he died and came back at 3%. All right. Parry. Went back in. Bam. That's the way it should have been done the first time. No backing off. No retreat. Didn't even need the invulnerability. So anyway, that's going to do it for my participation in this war. We'll be back and we'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. Wasn't too surprised. Um, it's not really close. Uh, they had some really tough defenders and they knew what they were doing on defense. So kudos to the Avengers. Let's hope we don't meet them again. Uh, anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.